Hello, it is Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. I'm Chris Primo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Wednesday crossword today, which means a midweek mid-difficulty puzzle. And I hope it is on the on the gentler side of that midweek difficulty because I was already off to a late start this morning. And then I realized I hadn't posted any of my uh, little sort of shorts videos of the other New York Times uh, word games and as well as the plus word. So uh, I just posted yesterday's um, connections, plus word and wordle. If you were uh, if you watched those and you were wondering where they were, they're on the channel now. And uh, anyway, now I have even less time to solve this this crossword. So let's get on with it. This midweek solve has been brought to us by Alex, Laura Saxon, Victoria Rojishka, and as always, the indomitable Shulmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Salt Patreon campaign. They do keep this series going. I'm very grateful for their contributions. And thank you as well to everybody who's a patron. If that includes you, thanks to you. And if you'd like it to include you, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. Of course, there you can find the bonus videos, which also includes another thing that was over do the most recent mini puzzle pseudo speed solve. So enjoy the previous week of mini crossword solves if you're a patron. And of course, there's the official mug for benefactors there as well. Um, let's see. Uh, do join the Daily Solve Discord chat server if you think you might be interested in that. It's a nice, friendly chat community. Uh, there's a link in the description field. And finally, please do subscribe to the channel on YouTube. It is a big help. Thanks if you've done so. All right, let's get on with it. Let's solve the puzzle. This is a, well, it's the second crossword, I believe by Miranda Canny. Uh, it's a Wednesday themed grid, so we can actually see there are some circled cells in the grid. We'll have to have to determine what they're all about. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, see what's in store for us today. Propped open, say, could be a, a door, could be a jar. Maybe it's propped open. It's just kept a bit, a bit open. It's a jar. Let's see. Many an Omani or a Rocky. Uh, it would, Arab would be likely in terms of many residents of those countries. Musical Mitchell, Joni Mitchell, the great Joni Mitchell. There we go. Current choice. Current choice. I mean, it could mean a current in the ocean. It could mean electrical current. It could mean... Obviously, the, the, the first thing I thought, the first thing I'm sure most people thought would be current choice as in the present choice, the choice now. I guess if it's electrical current, it could be AC, DC. My first thought was it would just, you'd be choosing one thing, but it could be the, you know, the, the choice being presented to you with both options. Let's see, does that help with this? Yes. Pen name. So BIC is a manufacturer of things, including pens. So I think that's enough to say this is a safe entry. Here we have output of the Rolling Stones appropriately. Oh, look at that. We've crossed with another band name. Um, rock, presumably. Output of the Rolling Stones, appropriately. Rock music? Is it as simple as that? I thought this was going to be a theme clue, but I don't think it is because I'm now noticing we have italicized clues. So those will be thematic. We've not yet seen those. RKO, this will be one of the big five film studios of Hollywood's golden age. Yes, it is RKO, which was a radio studio that became a film studio. Romantic hopefuls, are, I'm not sure, Narnia Lion. Oh, I do think I know that. You know, I, I'm not very familiar with the Narnia stories, but I do know the lion's name is Aslan, Aslan, Aslan. Um, so there we go. I think, I'm pretty sure that's right. People of Northern Scandinavia. The Sami, maybe? That's an indigenous people of, of that region. Let's see if that if that works. Romantic hopefuls. Suitors, maybe? George Eliot's The Mill on the Floss. There we go. That's that. Beverage that can cause brain freeze. An icy, I suppose. Um, it's a sort of blended ice drink, very cold drink. Bit Okay, and here we have one of our theme clues. Bit of pork, but not in a congressional bill. Uh, Andui is... That's a, a pork sausage. Um... And obviously, it's not the kind of pork that would be in a congressional bill. What this means, this is referring to um, the concept of pork barrel politics, which is sort of um, rep elected representatives getting amendments or inclusions to bills that benefit their specific constituency, um, often outside of the actual context or intention of the of the larger bill being passed. So 
uh, that would uh, andouille sta- sausage has nothing to do with that in particular. I wonder if there's something more thematically relevant beyond that. There must be, because otherwise this could just be a sort of regular clue. Okay, let's keep going. Romantic hopefuls. Oh, right. It does look like suitors with that eye in there, doesn't it? Gets old, say. If bread gets old, say. It could stale, so uh, stales. Le uh, Louvre, A-E-G. So this is looking for a word in French, and we have it. And and I think the reason we know that is because le rather than the, because obviously Louvre is, uh, that's French, but we also call it that in English. So that in itself wouldn't necessarily refer to a foreign language clue. But I think in if you're simply talking in English, you'd say the Louvre. And so uh, the le indicates that the answer, I think, should also be French. I believe that's what's going on here. Anyway, that's an example of, of a, muse- a museum, which is musée in French. So there we go. Forever and a day would be an eon. And this is unusual, unusually spelled this way in a U.S. crossword. This, this is, I associate the spelling with the um, with British usage, but uh, but there we have it. A very long time in Eon. Yumly, Sai Chef, and Food Monster. Never heard of any of these, but they certainly do all sound like apps, which I assume this to be. Stuff it. Stuff, pe- uh, stuff pepper? My grandmother used to make stuffed peppers. Um, and this is one of those clues that is, um, it is not in quotation marks. It's uh, italicized, well, the italics, italics have nothing to do with it, but it is uh, with an exclamation point at the end and not in quotation marks. And that means it's not defining the clue. Um, it's being said about the clue. So you could say this about a pepper. You could say, oh, stuff it, stuff that pepper and then bake it or whatever. Uh, so that's what's going on there with this exclamation point and no quotation marks. Whereas if there were quotation marks around this with the exclamation point, you'd be the answer, you'd be looking for a phrase that means stuff it, which we're not here. Okay, treaty. Um, a pact. Could be an agreement signed between nations or other entities. Guiding principle could be your ethos, could be your guiding principle. Cook in simmering liquid to poach. Something's upon something else at the top it, of course. Great divide could be a chasm, literally or figuratively. Personal quirk. Oh, this isn't ethos, it's ethic. There we go. Okay. So guiding principle, ethic that, that guides you, that makes sense as well. Personal quirk is a tick, a little thing that, that maybe is specific to you, that you do habitually. A scaredy cat is a... I don't know why I can't get this. I feel as though it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't quite coax it out. What about this? Sheet mineral is this as well. I've this as well, I feel is, is right there. Why can I not think what this is? Um that's so frustrating. Emanates from exudes from, maybe. So then, you know, anger is emanating from him, it's exuding from him. Adroitness. Adroitness is sort of deftness or skill or um, facility or what would fit in four letters. Ease, maybe. You have an ease with a knife, you know, an adroitness with it in the kitchen. Garlic in Guadalajara. I'm actually not sure. Oh, cuisine with circled letters whose ingredients are the answers to the italicized clues. Oh, right. Is it is it going to be Cajun, maybe, with that andouille pepper? Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe I'll delete this for now. Largest human organ. Oh, the skin, I think. A funny sort of counterintuitive thing. Oh, a chicken is a scaredy cat. Okay, there we go. I don't know why. I don't know why that was that was difficult. Mica is the sheet mineral. Again, I was just for some reason I was unable to coax those out of my mind. But there we go. That unlocked it. That skin there, fortunately. Uh, Mai Tai is a is a very nice cocktail when it's well made. Emanates from issues from right. Okay, I didn't think about that, but something sort of comes out of something. It issues from it. Adroitness is ease. It looks like most likely. 
Um, and this probably is Cajun because we have that UN there. Great. Okay. That Antoy is very uh, distinctive. Something that's red hot in the kitchen. Something that's red hot in the kitchen. Is it some, some kind of pepper? Presumably it'll be a hot pepper of some sort. I don't know why I can't think of that. Shut up to seal it. Shut up to seal, seal in. That's probably it. To seal someone in, to shut them. Well, no, I don't know. I'm not, not confident about what I'm saying. The seal is probably right. Ancient Egyptians referred to it as the plant of immortality because it's because of its ability to survive without soil. I have to assume this is the official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword, aloe. Surely that's right. And garlic in Guadalajara, ayo. I hope that's right. Uh, shut up. Something that's red hot in the kitchen. Oh, cayenne, cayenne pepper. There we go. Um, favored of uh, Chef John, I think, on YouTube. Eye affliction is a sty. Um, of this is sort of, I think, probably the official uh, facial affliction of the New York Times crossword. Shut up. Oh, it's sealed. No wonder I couldn't, I couldn't think of this. I wasn't properly considering that this could be past tense as well. So yesterday you shut it up, you sealed it. There we go. Does write by one's partner. So right here is, is conspicuously spelled as a, a ritual or um, a kind of process. And in this case, to do right by one's partner maybe is does right is weds. You wed somebody, you do a right and become their partner. I mean, it's obviously being phrased in a punny way. Airline once acquired by Carl Icahn. So Carl Icahn is a uh, sort of notorious activist investor. He must have once acquired TWA Transworld Airlines. I didn't specifically know that, but that must be the answer. Marvel role for Paul Rudd. Right. He plays Ant-Man, right? So that would be that. Ballerina's support. Um, not sure offhand. What about this? Real tear jerker. Onion? Yeah, there we go. That makes sense because Onion famously coaxes tears out of you in the kitchen. And it'll be part of this cuisine. Let's look what we have so far. Onion, andouille, pepper, cayenne, chicken. Is it going to be gumbo or something? Let's see. Logan Airport code. Oh, Boston. Look, that's Logan Boston Airport. Uh, Boston Logan Airport. So there's our code. Ballerina's support. What is that? Oh, no, it's jambalaya. Sorry, I completely forgot about the circled cells. J-A-M-B-A. I'll uh, just put it in since I... Jambalaya. There we go. There we go. That makes more sense than gumbo anyway. All right. Ballerina's support is... Mm, not sure for some reason. Confident gate could be a... Not a stroll. It would be a strut. There we go. Yeah, strut, strutting implies confidence for sure. Nickname for Rihanna. I've encountered this before and I believe it's Riri. So there we go. Fat and flour mixture. That's a roux. So if you're making a gravy, for instance, you could um, saute some uh, uh, flour in fat and then make, make a thick roux and then you'd dilute that with some liquid probably. Okay, socialize. To socialize with people is to mix with them. Ballerina support. Oh, bar. Okay, there we go. B-A-R-R-E. Yes. And then, what is this? Suffix with, di and I think there's sort of exercise based around that as well. Suffix with differ different. Okay, fair enough. Very straightforward. Green is a newbie. I'm not sure if you'd use green as a noun in that way, so maybe not. Respected figure. An elder is often used to refer to a respected figure in a particular field. Saloon sip. Um, I assume this means saloon is in a sort of, I don't know, kind of a bar, pub. What would, ale, I guess? You'd sip some ale in a saloon. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, slyly derisive. If you're snide, you could be said to be slightly derisive, I think. Uh, rude in a kind of smug way. Green, oh, naive. Right, there we go. That makes that makes sense. If you're, if you're green, you're naive. You're sort of inexperienced or untested. And itsy could be eeny, so, oops, little sort of cutesy ways to call something small. Hot spot for a chef would be an oven. 
straightforwardly enough, city where 29 down food is popular informally. So, of course, that's our Cajun food, which is popular in uh, New Orleans, which is uh, often referred to as NOLA, N-O-L-A, New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, stick in a salad is celery. You could put uh, celery in a salad, uh, which is actually very nice. It's actually nice to slice celery thin and put it in salad. Moved over. Scooted, I suppose, or, yeah, scooted. I was going to say scooched, but that doesn't fit. So uh, there we go. Nut once used as an ingredient in Coke. The cola nut, I believe, um, hence the name. Let's see. Part of a place setting. So a place setting at a, a dining room table, for instance, could be a knife as part of the cutlery. Carrie of the Princess Bride. So Carrie Elwes is uh, the actor, uh, sort of the lead actor in the film The Princess Bride. So there we go. Oh, settle down. Not now, you might say. Wise ones. Owls are often said to be wise. I don't know that they actually are all that wise compared to some, some animals, but uh, they certainly look it. What pales in comparison to other carbs? White rice, I guess. I guess it's sort of because you also have brown rice. I guess that's what sort of pales in comparison, I suppose. It's particularly kind of starkly white carbohydrate. Beat into a froth as cream. Oh, I don't know. Do I have something wrong here? What is... Hmm. Paramedic, perhaps. A lifesaver? Thin? What? I don't quite guess. Sorry, I'm not sure what I'm looking for here. Thin. I don't know. Risked a ticket, say. If you sped, you risk a ticket while driving over the speed limit. What? Thip. Is that? It's whip. Whip into a froth as cream. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, right. No, I just read. I don't know why I... Oh, settle down. Oh, yeah, that isn't not now. It's now, now. It's sort of, okay, quiet down. Now, now. I'm not sure. I don't know how I... What was going on in my brain that I read that as not now. But yeah, sorry about that. Okay, uh, Viva Las Vegas goes the song. Laptop brand Acer is a successful laptop brand. A wonk is a nerd. You could refer to someone as a policy wonk. They're really into sort of nitty gritty political details. Um, and NYC's Van Cortlandt Park. There we go. Park in New York City. Uh, three feet is a yard unit of measurement. Whatevs could be meh, maybe. New York home of Cornell University, right? Okay, that would be Ithaca. And so this is indeed meh. Or Ithaca with an A, sorry. A smartphone button. Um... I don't know. Smartphones these days don't typically have very many buttons. They sometimes have a home button. Mute, maybe. Is that a button? I guess they mean a virtual button on the screen. That's fair enough. Stranger Things Kid, who I don't know. Fitting way to invest in Campbell's. Campbell's presumably referring to the Tin Soup brand. But I'm not sure what we want there. Test of Patience. A delay, I suppose, would test your patience. Place for pi, idiomatically. What's the idiom here? I don't know. Oh, pie in the sky? A pie in the sky idea is a sort of, you know, unfeasible, idealistic idea. So, oh, stock is the fitting way to invest in Campbell's. You can buy stock in the Campbell's Soup Corporation or whatever. I don't know if Campbell's is a sort of independent, publicly traded company. I assume not. But uh, in any way, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, that's very good because obviously stock is very closely related to soup. Alternative to mushrooms. So here we're looking for a psychotropic drug. So LSD and then, oh, Lucas must be Stranger Things kid. So environmental science is uh, ecology. Oops, there we go. Sorry about that. Did not realize we were um, uh, right on the verge of completing the puzzle. Anyway, there we go. That was the Wednesday crossword. So we have our Cajun theme today, uh, which involves, oh, we haven't read the ingredients yet in total. So onion, andouille, pepper, cayenne, chicken, celery, white rice, and stock. Those all would go into a delicious jambalaya, which might be served in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, there we go. Very nice theme. Very complete theme. It's like incredibly well explored throughout the grid. So well done there to uh, Miranda Canny. And, um, and that's that. 
So uh, I do unfortunately have to be uh, taking off immediately at the moment. So no time for clues from yesterday's puzzle. I'm very sorry about that. I will try to get back to that tomorrow. Um, so do join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Mm-hmm.